Nice shot, dude. <laughs> Okay, Richard, we're here at the Burnaby Central track here for a workout. What's the plan today? Um, the main plan is 20 by 400 minutes rest, pretty standard workout. Uh, Whereabouts is uh, Luke and it's his training currently? Just in a pretty much base building phase. He's going to run a half marathon in three weeks, four weeks. So, yeah, this won't be... Won't be put. Well, he might put on the spike flat, but uh, yeah, he won't be getting up and running super quick. Nice. And what's the pace that we're looking for here? He'll probably target average of 64, and he'll probably get down a little quicker at the end. The other guys probably a little slower, but. And Vancouver, obviously, great place to train. Yeah, I'm from originally from Ontario. Moved out here in the mid 80s with my wife who was an Olympian at 10,000 meters and basically came for the weather. Nice, yeah. <laughs> this weather. <laughs> so what's the plan for Luke this upcoming year then? Uh, gonna target a couple of 10,000s. He'd really like to break 28 minutes and see how close he can get to the, the world champ standard. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, that's kind of the target. It was last year to 10,000, and then things fell in place, and he came around into really good 5,000 meter shape. So that got him on the Olympic team. So we'll see. That could happen again. But, yeah. Uh, How are we doing? Good. Good. What's the plan today? We're doing 20 quarters off a minute. So some faster stuff, I guess. Maybe like 5K ish pace. Um, yeah, this is a session I guess we do a few times a year. So it's kind of like a good barometer of where where we're at. I think, uh, I guess the purpose of it today is the legs turning over a little bit. We had a little bit of a longer session on Tuesday. So some foot speed tonight and, uh, you know, it'll be, a, it'll be a good one. I think it's one of, one of my favorite sessions. Like I said, we usually do it a few times a year. So once in the fall, once in the winter, and then maybe once in the spring and gives you a good idea of where you're at. And how's training been going recently after yeah, it's uh, been. I guess an abbreviated cross country season. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. It's been. It's always weird coming off an Olympic year. You know, there's uh, maybe some doubts and motivation. And um, I just started my career as a teacher, even though it's part time. It's been, it's been uh, kind of an interesting few months trying to find balance with that. But uh, you know, we got a lot of snow a few weeks ago, and it was it was hard to run and hard to find places that were clear. So it's. The Christmas, it kind of coincided with the Christmas break, which I guess makes it easier to kind of, you know, take a step back in training, but, uh, you know, starting to find my groove again and uh, uh, got a half marathon coming up in a few weeks, so I guess we'll we'll see where I'm at. Nice. And your uh, training is on Strava, so people can follow yeah, along yeah, and yeah. see no, you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's up on Strava, and I think most of the stuff goes up there, so uh, it's there for people to see, follow along, and, you know, I feel like nowadays there's no hiding anything, whether it's social media or Strava, you're able to find out what people are doing. And I think, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. And what kind of volume have you been doing recently? <sighs> it's kind of, I guess what, like it's somewhere between like 135 and maybe 145, 150K, like 85 to just over 90 miles. Sweet. Seems to be like a sweet spot. I find if I start pushing too much, um, you know, the workouts start to suffer a little bit. And now that I'm on my feet a bit more with teaching, I kind of need to be smart with how much I'm running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll let you give it to your warm up. And right on. Looking forward to this workout. Yeah, I know it's going to be good.
Justin, what's the plan today? Uh, quarters? Yep. Uh, 20 of them. Okay. Uh, like 65, 64s. Nice. Off a minute, so. And how's training been going recently? Uh, it's good, yeah. Uh, ben and I are coming back from uh, Valencia Marathon, so I've been, I've, uh, my body's been feeling a little bit better, I think, than his. He's been a little bit more beat up, but um, yeah, it's going, it's going well. Back into some good mileage and feeling good, so. Yeah, just getting some good solid training in. Yeah. You yeah. on Strava? I am. Nice. Uh, when I, yes, I am most of the time, I guess. Okay. It's the stuff you don't see on Strava, that's the good stuff, but no, I'm all on Strava, uh, so yeah. So people can check you Certainly. out and follow you yeah. there? Yeah. Nice. All right, Sweet. looking forward to this Thanks workout. For, Thanks, man. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Ben, how's it going? Going well. What's the plan today? Got some 400s on deck. Um, I don't know. I think everyone's kind of at various fitness levels, but uh, I don't know. It's nice to have the whole group out here, so it'll be fun. Nice. Get some 400s done. Nice. And uh, what kind of volume have been you've been doing recently? I've been building back from after Valencia Marathon, so not not crazy volume right now, but um, yeah, just building back to moderate mileage. Hopefully, getting up to kind of base marathon mileage and see what kind of races are on the calendar. Nothing really planned right now, but... Nice. Yeah. And are you on Strava? Yeah, I am. All right, so they can follow along and see what you're doing there. For sure. Yes, Great. they can. All right, looking forward to the workout. <laughs> Sounds good. Did warming up with marathon guys yep. is when you're track guy, they're ready in like 30 minutes. They're ready to go. They do their jog, they do like five strides. It's over, workout starts. I need a bit more time. Gotta ease into it. <laughs> do all my drills. Fair enough. And then we're stuck sitting here doing nothing for 20 minutes. Yeah. Right. Well, it's Theo's good on the mornings when I need to get to work after. Theo's, Theo's well, there's Theo. Like, when Theo's here, we get extra uh, time because he has like. Kristen, what's the gear that you're using today? I've got the dragonfly on today. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the plan for the workout? Um, I'm going to jump in and out of the guys' 400s. I'm going to do some 200s. So nice. 18 in total. Okay. Yeah. Looking forward to it. What kind of gear are we working with for you? Well, uh, all new lemon stuff, uh, shoes. Kind of whatever, whatever I'm feeling. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm grateful to have a Lululemon as a partnership. So I, I love their their gear for working out and running and everything. So nice. That's what I rely on for my work. And what did you race uh, Valencia in? Um, in Valencia, I, for shoes, I wore the Asics uh, Meta Speed. And how are those? What did you think? Yeah, they weren't bad. I I think there there are definitely some other options on the market, but I I like them. Um, I think maybe I'd use them again for shorter distances, maybe not the marathon, but okay. yeah, in general, I thought they were a pretty solid shoe. Nice. All right. Justin, what's the gear that we're working with here today? Um, trusty old Saucony Triumphs for a uh, warm up and cool down. And then uh, I wasn't sure if we were doing the next percents or some lighter flats, but I think we're going the next percents today. Nice. And what did you race Valencia in? Uh, the next percents as well. Nice white color though. These are my uh, my trainers. Nice. All right. These are yeah, the uh, running local running shop specials. Yeah. But I have no got a deal from my guy that works at the running shop. But uh, where are they? The Nike Vapor Flies. The next percent. Mm -hmm. As an unsponsored athlete, I get to purchase my shoes. But. Uh, you get to wear whatever I shoe should you say like. I'm very fortunate that New Balance Canada has hooked me up with some trainers, so I'm rocking the the 1080s on my day-to-day -day stuff. So nice. Thanks to them, but breaking out these tonight for some for some reps. It'll be good. You ready? About that time. Get there for You and Justin are doing one 20. The other guys are doing.
trick, the trick is the shuffle. You really got to master the shuffle. <laughs> Camera time, so. Justin, how are you feeling so far? So far, so good. Yeah. But I got the super shoes on, so that's probably the way it is. So good? Yeah, eight down. I think we're rolling probably we're already running 63, 64, so it's going well. Feeling good.
Heads up. In one. Ben, how you feeling? I'm pretty good. I got a little bit easier work than these guys, but yeah, smoother than I expected. Good. I have to keep up with the track guys at the very start. They got a fast start. Yeah. Good. Up. Yeah. It's hard work on the bike for this one. Yeah. You're probably putting a lot of putting a lot of watts into it. Yeah. Once you get to speed, you're fine. We were wearing jackets before, so. Last one, keep it controlled.
Nice shot, dude. <laughs> How was that, Luke? It was good. Yeah? Probably ended up averaging 63. So, yeah, good session. Nice. Yeah, you look pretty forward. smooth out there. Yeah, it's not bad. We haven't done a whole lot of stuff that, that quick, so uh, it's good to turn the legs over a little bit. And Justin had a great session. It was nice having him for, uh, you know, share the work the whole way because he's just coming back, kind of getting the swing of things after the Valencia Marathon. So uh, makes a difference when you only have to lead half the reps. So it's good. Nice. And so the first half, that's your uh, next race upcoming? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm a. I'm teaching now, so it's harder to get away. Um, it's, uh, I guess, the first big local road race that we've had in Vancouver in like two years. So uh, it'll be nice to kind of spin the wheels and see if I can uh, run a decent one, win some prize money, and then considering going down for going down to the U.S. for the 10, which is a sound running event, and. Uh, I guess we'll see with uh, Omicron and all the stuff that comes with that, borders, this and that. Well, uh, you know, it'll be a good test to see if I can break 28 minutes and go from there, yeah. Yeah, all right, well, good luck with the rest of your training and hopefully see you again on another yeah. video. Appreciate it. We have the coolest tool for shredding cheese. Oh yeah? It's like a food processor, but... A cheese yeah. shredder? You're just like, like cheese shredder, you just like put it down, it's like industrial like strength. That's, that's, how, that's how I gained 10 more pounds right there. Uh, the I first one was a real weight cheese. thing, that's for sure. Yeah. Back into the Safeway bag. Yeah. Is this your first time on the track in a while? It is. Well, on, actually I shouldn't say that. It's the first time in a long while we've been on a normal track. Right. Uh, using which Empire. hopefully we'll have you out at Empire. Yeah. Because that'll be, I think, fun for a lot of people to see. But for yeah, sure. we've been on like a 600 meter track with a hill and like a funky back straight for a lot of our faster stuff. So yeah, this will be the first time I've been on a track since this track or like regular track since summer. Uh, yeah, summer. Yeah. When I ran a, when I ran a mile. <laughs> How do you feel an elephant in a Safeway bag? <laughs> I don't know. Take the S out of safe and the F out of way. <laughs> I don't... Wait, what? Take what? the S out of safe yeah. and the F out of way. <laughs> S out of safe. I need to put an elephant in there. Safe? Take the, Ewa. Take the F out of way. Ewa. There's no F in way. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm like, I'm like, there's an F in there. <laughs> Is that what happens when you run too many 400s? <laughs> your brain can't yeah. process things as fast as it should be able to. <laughs> Caption, that's going to be the... <laughs> Everyone figure that out in 10 seconds.